Hi guys, this is Marky Lequesta de Chosa. For this video, we're going to talk about another curious personality, the five-factor theory. So, meron na tayong dalawang naunang kampo. Sabi ni Raymond Cattell, meron tayong 16 factors. And sabi naman ni Hans Insek, meron tayong three-factor theory. So, ngayon, papasok na natin si McCray and Costa na in-integrate ang mga personality traits na nauna into Big Five or ang tinatawag natin na Big Five Theory or the Five Factor Theory. So, sino-sino ba ang mga taong na-involved dito? Bakit ito ginawa? How does it started? And ano-ano nga ba itong Five Factor na to? Before anything else, kilalanin muna natin si Paul Costa and si Robert McRae. Costa was born in 1942 in Franklin, New Hampshire. And after completing an undergraduate work at Clark University, he went to graduate school at the University of Chicago, kung saan siya ay nag-aral ng human development at nagturo siya ng dalawang taon sa Harvard and five years naman sa University of Massachusetts, Boston. Si Costa rin is a fellow of the Gerontological Society of America and the American Psychological Association and siya rin ang past president of the International Society for the Study of Individual Differences. So, McCray, on the other hand, was born in 1949 in Maryville, Missouri. So, he studied philosophy at Michigan State University and nag-switch siya sa psychology for his graduate work at Boston University. He gravitated personality measurements in psychometric because of his interest in mathematics and, and inspired siya sa mga works ni Raymond Cattell. So, he is also a fellow of the American Psychological Association the American Psychological Society, and the Gerontological Society of America. Technically speaking, McCray and Costa did not actually discover these five factors. Dahil sinasabi na it is already a talk of the town bago pa nila pinasok. Mas naging kilala lamang sila dahil sila ang nag-expand dito. They are the people who made it as a full-blown theory. Kasi before, it was just a taxonomy. Kilalanin naman natin kung sino ang mga na-involved sa ating Big Five model. Ang ating Big Five model resulted from the contributions of many independent researchers, including dito si Gordon Alport and Henry Outbird, na kung saan nag-formulate ng listahan ng 4,500 terms relating to the personality traits. Ang kanilang work ay naging isang pundasyon para sa mga ibang psychologists na magsimulang i-determine ang mga basic dimensions of personality. Sumunod sa ipak niya si Raymond Cattell kasama ang mga colleagues nito at gumamit ng isang factor analysis para manarrow down ang listahan ni Alport kung saan nag-equate the 16 traits or 16 factors. So maraming psychologists naman ang nag-examine sa listahan ni Cattell and nalaman nila na pwede pa palang i-reduce ito to 5 factors. Ang mga psychologists na ito ay si Donald Fisk, Norman, Smith, Goldberg, si McCray and si Costa. In particular, si Goldberg ang advocate ng five primary factors of personality. Si McCray and Costa lamang ang nag-expand nito and kinonfirm nila ang validity ng model na kanilang nagawa. Ang model na nagawa nila ay mas kilala ngayon bilang Big Five model and mas nakareceive ito ng attention dahil maraming gumagamit ng model na ito at mas kilala siya bilang most widely accepted theory of personality as of today. There is a way for us to remember the five factors. We can use the acronym OCEAN or CANU. So in the acronym OCEAN, O stands for openness, C stands for conscientiousness, E stands for extroversion, A stands for agreeableness, and N stands for neuroticism. It is also important to note that each of the five personality factors represent a range between two extremes. Ibig sabihin, extroversion ay nagwa-represent ng continuum between extreme extroversion and extreme introversion. So in the real world, most people lie somewhere in between the two polar ends of each dimension. Kasama dito ang tatlong factors ni Hans Einstein, which is yung neuroticism, extroversion, and yung psychotism naman ay nahati sa tatlo, which is openness, agreeableness, and the conscientiousness. 
So, openness. So, pag sinabi natin openness, ito yung mga tao na open to new ideas, open to learn, and eager to learn sa mga new experiences. So, ang trait na to ay features na yung characteristic as being imaginative and insightful. Curious sila sa world, sa mga tao na nakapaligid sa kanila, and they are eager to learn new things and enjoy new experiences. Sinasabi din na ang mga tao na mataas sa trait na ito tend to be more adventurous and creative sila yung mga outgoing person. And yung mga tao naman na low sa trait na ito are often much more traditional and nag struggle sila with abstract thinking. So agreeableness naman, ito naman yung mga tao na nagsishow ng pro-social behaviors like meron sila mga attributes such as trust, altruism, kindness, and affection. So, ang mga tao na mataas ang trait na agreeableness tend to be more cooperative because they value social harmony. So, yung mga tao naman na mababa sa trait na to tend to be more competitive and sometimes manipulative. Next naman natin yung conscientiousness. So, conscientiousness naman ay mas kilala natin bilang self-discipline or eh, ang standard feature ng dimension na to includes, uh, includes thoughtfulness, good impulse, control, and goal-oriented behaviors. So, yung mga tao na highly conscientious tend to be more organized and mindful of details. So, madalas sila yung mga nagpa-plano ahead of time, natatapos nila agad yung mga important tasks na binibigay sa kanila. Samantalang, yung mga tao naman na mababa sa trait na to, they dislike structures and schedules. Madalas, ma, madalas sila magkamali because they procrastinate important tasks and fail to complete necessary. Anyway, yun yung connection niya sa 3-factor ni Hans Einzek. So, ano naman yung connection ng 5-factor na to sa factor ni Raymond Cattell? So, basically, yung 16 factors ni Raymond Cattell ay po pwede ba palang i-factor analyze. And, alam niya ba kung kailan yun? 5 then, which is very parallel to the 5-factor theory. As mentioned nga kanina, nakilala si Costa and Macrae, hindi dahil sila yung nakadiscover ng ating 5-factor theory, but instead, they are the people who made it as a full-blown theory from a taxonomy. So, let us know, ba, ano ba tong taxonomy na to? Pag sinabi natin sa taxonomy, in a wider or more general sense, it refers to a categorization of things or concepts. So basically, yung five factors na nabinggit natin is our basic tendencies or ang basic tendency ng isang individual wherein in a way it can be defined by our genes. Our personality traits solely originate from our biological factor or our genetic factors such as our hormones, genetics, and brain structures. And then these basic tendencies will interact to our environment. And habang tumatanda tayo or nag-grow tayo as an individual, nag a tayo ngayon sa environment na kinatatayuan natin. Tinatawag naman natin na ating characteristic adaptation. Meaning to say, characteristic adaptations are acquired personality structures na nadadevelop na isang tao kapag nag a siya sa kanyang environment. So yung tinatawag natin characteristic adaptation na ito ay siya ang magde-define or mag-produce ng ating self-concept. Ayun lamang for this video. I hope you learned something and thank you for watching.